Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to go over how to manage multiple sites in a Unify controller. And basically what sites are, are different, um, I like to think of it as different instances of the controller for different uh, separated networks. However, as you'll see, it's not a different instance of the controller, it's all hosted under the same one but each site has its own collection of devices, it has its own wireless networks, it has its own wired networks. Most of the configuration that you do in the controller will be specific to a single site. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at this in action. Here is my actual Unify controller, and right now I am looking at a single site. Now it's not immediately apparent uh, which site I am looking at, um, since they changed some of these settings, locations, and different versions of the controller, but in the latest, if we go over to the left and click on our kind of administrator bubble here, it's also called the site switcher. And here's where we can see all of our different sites, or add a site, or import one if we have a site that's already configured in another controller that we want to export from that controller and bring into this one. Now in this site, if I go to the devices menu, you can see we have a single access point, it's called December Vienna. If we go to our settings page, you can see we have four different wireless networks. We got this 0071 basement Wi-Fi and Olive Garden because I thought it was being funny. And under our networks, we have our default test network and a whole bunch of VLAN only networks. Now, if I go to my site switcher and I go to say December Illini and I go to my devices tab, here's a whole different list of devices. I've got December Illini Office, which is a switch, a Flex Mini, also a switch and two access points. And if I go into my settings, I have completely different wireless networks and completely different wired networks. But if I go down to like system, this is all controller specific. So if I change the time format, that's going to apply across every site. That's for the whole controller. If I enable the legacy interface, that applies to the whole controller. That's not site specific. So if I switch back to December, I've still got the legacy interface. Now, Kind of a rule is most of the settings on the bottom area, even if you're in the newer interface, are controller specific. So you can see there's kind of a separation here. Network application, user interfaces, remote access maintenance and backup, that is all controller. That's for the entire controller and every site configured under it. But all of these settings above, your site, your wireless networks, routing and firewall, et cetera, et cetera, that's all gonna be site specific. So let's say I'm standing up an, a new Unify network somewhere else and I want it to be controlled by this controller, but it's going to have its own networks, its own subnets, its own wireless information, all of that. I'd go up here, add a new site, give it a name, submit, and now I have a whole new area for device configuration. If I go to the settings, you can see I have no wireless networks and I have only the default wired network. Everything is pretty much as it would be out of the box for this site. I've got to set everything up from scratch. Now, one huge caveat to a site, or not really a caveat, but I think one of the main reasons that you need sites is that there can only be one security gateway or dream machine per site. You cannot have two dream machines in the same site. You cannot have two security gateways in the same site because the way the controller is set up the gateway is the one device that everything goes through to access the internet, and it's only going to control one of them. The Unify controller doesn't really know what to do with multiple gateways in the same site. So, therefore, if you are going to add two Unify security gateways or Dream Machines to your network, you will have to have multiple sites. Now, it is worth mentioning if you're using an older version of the controller. Let's go back here to, say, version 5.14. Your site switcher is actually in the top right. It's not on the left. And it also tells you which site you are currently managing um, already, which I actually prefer this, but they changed it. So what does my opinion matter? <laughs> um, but if we drop down, it's the same thing. Add a new site, give it a name, and now we have a completely different area of the controller. Now it is also worth noting that you can disable sites entirely. And I don't mean like turning a site off or anything. I mean the controller's ability to even create them. Let's go back to our new controller, version 7. 
if we go to, let's see, settings, I believe, well, now I'm going to get confused because I'm in a different menu style. Um, if you want to hear me vent about that, go check out my other video of uh, Unify Controller Overviews. But let me just enable the new user interface here real quick. See, and now I can go to system and right here we have multi-site management. And if we mouse over this, it says use multiple logically separated sites to manage groups of devices. We can disable that. However, since I have multiple sites already configured, I can't. But if you don't have multiple sites, that is something that you can disable. And I've actually done that in this other controller, which is version, I think, 6.4. Um, you can see I don't have that administrator bubble here on the left to switch sites, and I also don't have it up here in the top right. Now if I go to Settings, System, and since this is an older version, the menu is even more different. Um, I think it's Application Configuration, and then at the bottom, Site Configuration. You can see I have Multi-Site Management disabled. Now it's actually on by default. You really never have to come here unless you for some reason want to disable that feature. I really don't know why you would explicitly need it turned off, but you can do that. And if you don't have the site switching um, menus, this is probably the setting you want to take a look at. So let's go ahead and enable that and apply changes. And now you can see we popped up the little circle up here, which is the site switcher, and now I can create a new site. So that's pretty much the quick and dirty of uh, what sites are, kind of how to configure them, and a couple of the little caveats that go along with it. Um, I see a lot of like hospitals that have clinics use the different sites for like you've got your main hospital site in the controller and then you've got like clinic A, clinic B, clinic C, and they all have their own wireless networks, their own wired networks, their own configurations. But all the devices talk back to the main controller for their configuration and management which is nice because everything's just all under one controller instead of having a separate controller at each physically separate site you now have it all under one management umbrella now also when it comes to doing multiple sites you might wonder how these devices even get adopted because just by definition a new site is going to be a new network so the controller is not going to automatically discover those and this is where you will get into layer three adoption which I do plan on making a separate video on. Um, that's beyond the sp scope of this one. But basically, just be aware that if you create a different site and you get all of those uh, devices set up, they're not just automatically going to show up in this controller because they have no way of really knowing which controller to reach out to. So there is a little bit more setup that you have to do um, prior to actually getting these devices into the sites. But as always, I hope you learned something. And also, as always, uh, happy networking.